Everyone, it's Zach with Palantir Research. Palantir released a new blog post on artificial intelligence role on reimagining the classification system. And they literally call out the U.S. government saying it's outdated and antiquated and overhauling this with their help can save around $18.4 billion for taxpayers. Now, rightfully, they call out the system being outdated since the 1950s. And since we're already deep into the 2020s, seems that this keeps becoming a problem as a tsunami of digitally created classified records is exponentially getting worse, which makes sense. We have a system created decades ago, but the amount of information is getting bigger and bigger. And they even quote a U.S. senator here on the issue. Now, quick history-wise, classification for the U.S. government has been important throughout the entire history of being born as a country for national security, but also being founded on freedom and democracy, which includes a level of accountability and transparency although some will argue that level, of course. But either way, a technology upgrade seems due. Hence, Palantir recommends how AIP can fix this problem. And they give the big value adds, which is creating an ontology for all the different security controls, which dictates how these pieces of data are flowing in a system and should be classified, as well as the implementing discrete controls to ensure a minimization of AI hallucinations, then direct large language models to actually connect the context of documents, not just saying and grouping them by keywords, but the actual meaning of the material as well as getting a real-time auditing system that is constantly improving accuracy and efficiency. And this is where Palantir makes sure to note, this is a human and machine job here. AIP is to empower and not replace humans in this case because the context is just that important when it comes to safeguarding sensitive information, but still helping to speed up the transparency process. As we know, the safer they are around information, typically the slower it is to be released and have the public rightfully get that information over time. Now, by 2025, Here's what Palantir envisions and believes the government classification can be like with their help. Declassification software engines will be processing large backlogs of classified data and records and catching them up, and kind of reminds me of the patient backlogs for the NHS. But essentially, they'll be able to start tackling this, which in turn helps in the declassification process, especially as new information keeps getting created. And also a FOIA front door, this is actually getting access for Americans to these records. Having an actual interface that is connected to the back end can coordinate with the actual ontology to speed up the responsiveness and coordination of agencies to make information available while removing manual processes. Then intelligence diplomacy with this increased efficiency also allows better coordination with foreign partners, assuming the confidence of the information being classified that much more accurately, actual valuable information to be shared still with the review of a human. And of course, still improving the United States defense system because we can try to reverse reverse engineer how adversarial countries like Russia and China are using AI to create insights from previously declassified information. So a new classification guidelines can be built off of this assumption here into the new system and to minimize or even prevent the value they get from these kind of activities. And then just overall improvement of the system itself. So not only automating, but guiding their classification and disclosure guidelines on the learnings of an AI improved classification system. Now by 2026, Palantir believes they can eventually get to a point where there are software powered bots built on top of these classification systems. Since the security controls are there to be utilized on information, that is making it allowable to be disclosed or not, meaning it will improve downstream actions because now we aren't over classifying documents and maybe withholding information from being used, or on the other side, under classifying documents that can possibly pose a risk to ourselves. And the kicker here is that they hopefully think they can decrease the spend in $18.4 billion for taxpayers, and that's being spent on classification annually. So removing the manual processes, redundancy, slowness, as well as getting automated controls in place is huge if they can get Palantir. But what are your thoughts on Palantir basically calling out the United States government? Let me know below, and I'll see you in the next video.